All right, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Um, gonna do another quick video on the Talon 2 shroud here that I just got in. Uh, I've done quite a bit of testing on it, ran it against all my other shrouds and everything, and I've, uh, I'm, I'm determined I'm gonna run with this one because of just the simple fact that it, uh, it works the best as far as quieting my gun down. I've done a lot of testing with uh, 3,000 PSI and also 3,400 PSI. I've ran about 25 rounds through this thing with the, uh, the 3,400 PSI and it's just extremely impressive. I'm um, putting them all the way out there to uh, 40 yards very accurately, grouping very well. But this, uh, this shroud is definitely you know, the, uh, the premier way to go. But what that got my mind doing is thinking about, okay, you know, right now the shroud is definitely knocking it down at a 3,400 PSI. It's putting it at 110 decibels, and it's also muffling the sound to where instead of you getting a sharp crack, it's, uh, it muffles it basically to where you're just getting some air pressure noise. So even though you know, it's uh, still 110 decibels, you know, a hand clap, if you clap your hands together, I was getting about 84, 85, but the hand clap sounds louder because it's a sharper sound. You know, it's the, uh, the crack of the air. Same thing with an unshrouded barrel. Um, it's louder, yes, but it's also got the sharpness, and that this uh, shroud here from Talon Tunes definitely eliminates the sharpness. And then when you drop it down to a, a 40 foot pounds of energy gun running 3,000 psi, this thing is actually bringing us down to 90 decibels. Which, uh, again, the, the hand clap was almost the same, but it's sharper, so it seems louder. So, uh, this gun is definitely neighborhood friendly and all that good stuff in any power setting with the, uh, the shroud on there. And a couple of changes that he's actually made. You know, you've got the, uh, the solid aluminum all the way through. You've also got a double O-ring at the back back here. And then it's got an air gap that basically fits around the barrel and gives you uh, about an eighth of an inch of room all the way around the barrel. So what I'm gonna do to allow that air to expand a little bit more and see if we can make this gun even quieter than it already is, which is, uh, it's going to be a stretch, but I can't stop tinkering with stuff, but we're going to give it a try. This is my uh, original barrel bushing that I just vented out, just took a drill bit to it, knocked six holes through there, and I'm going to run that on there to see if we can get this thing below 90 decibels with the, uh, the Talon Tune Shroud. And a couple of changes that he's actually made on this one versus some of his other ones is the front cap was actually pinned on. Uh, or screwed on in some of them, but he actually has completely um, epoxy this thing all the way around on the front end to make sure that the front end is basically, you know, one solid piece. And then the, uh, the rear end of it is actually still held on the same way and all that good stuff. And I do believe it's epoxyed on as well, but the, uh, the fit and finish of this is very impressive. The double O rings, a little bit of airspace, you know, around it. We're definitely going to see what we can do to make this thing just a little bit quieter. Um, I'm going to run the 3,000 PSI today and, you know, see if we can get this thing below 90, 90 decibels. So the way you do the uh, front barrel bushing, in case, you know, some people haven't done it before, it's really, really simple. There's one Allen screw right here that holds the front hand guard on. Then you take out the side screws and then there's underneath, there's two more. Once I get the hand guard off, I'll turn the camera back on and show you real quick exactly you know the four set screws that need to come out then the whole barrel assembly slides out the front and then you just stick this on there and we'll see what happens with that so let me get the uh, the front hand guard off get the gun apart and then we'll stick this thing back together we'll take it back outside and see how low we can go with the uh, the talon tune shroud all right so what i've done here is just simply removed the four barrel bushing screws out of the gun hand grips off of it and everything. And from there, pretty easy process. He's gonna slide the barrel out of the gun, just like that. And we're gonna go ahead and remove this barrel. And slide our vented barrel bushing on. Put the gun back together. Then we're gonna head outside for testing and uh, I don't think there's very much room for improvement over what that Talentune Shroud does, but you know, we're going to try, because if you know me, you know I can't stop messing with stuff, but uh, trying to improve on something that is pretty much perfect, we'll see what we can do. Now you want to make sure your little nubs in the barrel, right there, line up with your set screw, nice and easy. 
because that's what keeps you straight and on track. Right. So when you stick the barrel back in the gun, you know you got it all lined up. Make sure the other barrel bushing is nice and tight even though we didn't mess with it. And there we go. Vented barrel bushing going back in the gun. Alright, so the barrel's back in with the ventilated barrel bushing, front hand guards on, and the uh, all the little barrel bushing uh, screws are in. So installation of this thing, incredibly simple. You know, I put a uh, little bit of lube on there, you know, because it do have O-rings, they're sliding against metal. So I try and make sure everything's lubricated up and stuff like that. I use the same lubrication that I use on uh, everything else for the high pressure gun. You know, and the, uh, the same thing on my hill pump and everything. We just ease it down the barrel. Line it all up. Stab it right in. Bam. Once she locks in place, utilize the uh, the grub screw that's actually got the tip on it that matches up in between the two grooves. Tighten that sucker down, and that's all there is to it. So it's about as easy as you can get for something that functions this well. Tighten her down. Bang. I always use a short side of it so you don't over torque stuff because, you know, dealing with aluminum on a lot of this stuff, uh, you can strip out screws very easily. And that's all there is to it. So the shroud is uh, installed on the gun. We're all ready to rock and roll. And of course, safety first. I remove the, uh, the power supply. You don't ever work on a gun that's got uh, potential to go off, air, any, anything like that, no matter what kind of gun it is. High pressure, low pressure, doesn't matter. Make sure the gun is completely safe, no air pressure in it whatsoever. But uh, once we run back outside again, I'm going to be using the, uh, the 3000 PSI tank, do some target shooting, see if uh, it's all sighted in still, and we'll be ready to rock and roll. So get this rolling here in a few minutes. All right, so here we go. The uh, another run of the outdoor testing, all that good stuff on the Talon Tune Shroud, and the way the gun's set up again. We got the 3,000 psi tank on there. Talon Tune's quick change top hat with the smallest insert, 35,000 swasher underneath it. The uh, incredible Talon Tune Shroud, and uh, we showed you how to put it on, and install it, and everything. And we're gonna see exactly what the noise level is, and then uh, give it a couple runs on the digital sound level meter. I'm gonna run five shots across it on a uh, 25 meter range so you sit there shoot down there and then we're uh give you a, a no kidding this is what it's shooting because like i said this thing is uh absolutely to the point of being unbelievable where you know the uh the clapping of the hands is actually louder than the the gun going off you know you can definitely notice it more this thing is very impressive so here we go Five shots on that one, and uh, kind of rushed it a little bit, but accuracy is still pretty, pretty decent. One flyer, you know, fourth shot's out to the right, fifth shot is uh, out to the left. But three shots, first three, fourth, fifth. And I'll just give a, uh, we're gonna try and see if we can get the impact on target being louder 
and the, uh, the actual gun. Oh, lordy. This is going to be quite a uh, speedy little shot here. Let's see what happens with this one. No room for messing up. Alrighty. So, like I said, uh, this, uh, the Talon Tune shroud and all that good stuff is uh, the gun itself. You know, is, uh, the impact's louder than the gun itself. The quality build is fantastic and is definitely glad I uh, made the switch to this shroud. Tony, you're doing outstanding work. Appreciate the uh, the t-shirt and you know everything you're doing, dude. So, hope you enjoy this video. Hope this helps everybody else out there. But right now the gun is set up for 40 foot-pounds of energy and that's all the noise it makes. Impact is louder than the gun. Till next time. Stay in there and uh, have a good day.